to kick off for the second half. Wingfield takes a bit of a clump on the back of his head then. Lifts the ball up to Wingfield. Not enough there for Harris. Boland on the attack again. Kingstonian making two substitutes here. Akamoa's coming on. And Bashford. Bashford, Stewart. Stewart running down the middle there. Akamoa through the middle to Lee Worthy. Lee Worthy equalises for the Kays. It's David Lee Worthy gets his second goal. Good play there from his old mate, Eddie Akamoa. It's Kingstonian 2, Southport 2. Attendance this afternoon is 1027. Bashford running through, that was a good ball from Luckett. Akamoa, Akamoa back to Bashford. Bashford lobs a little one over there to try and find Lee Worthy's head. For Southport coming away. Elam's got the ball now. Elam Ellison. Apparently misses it. Oh. Goalkeeper Steve Farrelly not having the best of days for Kingstonian. Not having the best of games. Lee Worthy. Patterson. Lee Worthy on his other. He scores! It's a goal by David Lee Worthy. He was unmarked there. It's Southport 2, Kingstonian 3. The poster, David Lee Worthy, gets his second goal for the Kays. That's five goals in two games for David Lee Worthy. He never stopped scoring goals for Kingstonian. Luckett puts the ball back to Farrelly. Elam. This is gripping stuff this afternoon at Kings Meadow. Sure. Oh, well tackled there by little Luke Bashford. Patterson. Akamoa. Bassford. Lovely ball into Akamai. It's lucky. Lucky going forward. Lucky scored for the Kingstonian. It's Colin Lucky. Southport 2, Kingstonian 4. What a turnaround this afternoon. Stewart. 
Stewart. Mustafa, Lee Worthy, Patterson. Furlong picks the ball up, Southport going through there. It's Lee Furlong with the ball. He tries a shot. Well wide there by Lee Furlong. Sponsored by Cherry Wood Records, number nine, Dwight Marshall. Dwight Marshall just been voted man of the match by Cherry Wood Records. Boland. Stewart coming away for the K's. Big roar from the crowd. It's the final score this afternoon at Kings Meadow. It's Kingstonian 4, Southport 2. <laughs> Kingstonian went ahead with his debut goal by Dwight Marshall in the 20th minute. And Southport came back again with two feeble defensive mistakes from the Kingstonian goal mouth. And then David Leeworthy. The master tactician, the master goal scorer, receiving a stand innovation from the crowd, came back with two goals to level. And then Colin Luckett put in the final one for the K's this afternoon. Gripping stuff this afternoon at Kings Meadow. Six goals in all. Kingstonian side walking off to a stand innovation from the crowd. Gora, Kingstonian's first goal today. He's first one for the club. How did it feel scoring that first goal, Dwight? It was absolutely uh, brilliant uh, to score your first goal and uh, also for it being at home. Um, it was a great personal experience for me. You've recently been playing for Plymouth. Uh, what was it like play, uh, going now to the Conference League? I um, mean, obviously, um, you'll find from what I've experienced so far, um, I think about the top ten of the conference teams will be able to compete in the third division. Um, but, you know, there's still a little bit of a slight difference in the third division, although it's just been a little bit. Are you a local lad? Are you living locally? I'm not. Well, when you say local, I'm northeast London um, in the Enfield area. It takes me just over an hour um, to get down there, really. So it, in, in terms of going to Plymouth, it is local. <laughs> You're very fast. I mean, how, what do you do to actually practice, you know, to actually keep fit? You're a very fast player. Um, for me, it's, this all be, it's all been natural. I've always had a natural pace. I've never done any actual training to increase my, my speed. Um, you know, I've always kept my weight down. Um, and I think that's one of the aspects of me keeping my speed at my age is I've, I don't actually put much weight on. Um, and obviously, I keep myself fit as well. So the two combinations um, keep me at a good pace, really. Have you got your family involved in football? I haven't, any, I haven't, no. Um, I've got an older brother, but he's, um, he's cooking, he's a chef. And I've got a younger sister, um, but nobody else in my family at the moment is involved in football. Did you have members of your family watching you today? Yes, I had my uh, mum and my dad who came for the first game. They didn't, obviously couldn't make the game on Wednesday, but they made the game today. Um, and hopefully they'll be pleased with my performance today. I'm sure they will, Dwight. Thanks very much. That's Dwight Marshall there, goal scorer of Kingstonians. First goal today in their thrilling 4-2 win against Southport with Dwight Marshall here receiving his Man of the Match award from Cherry Red Records. Of Kingstonian this afternoon after their 4-2 uh, win against Southport. Touch and go that game today, Jeff. Yeah, it was. I mean, at half time, uh, I think we're all wondering how we're going to get the, the spark into us to start with. Um, I mean, one up and then conceding two sloppy goals. Um, I mean, normally Steve Farrelly's probably one of our better players. Uh, does everything absolutely brilliant but um, today um, he's held his hand up he was at fault I felt for both of them the cross he should never have come for in the first place and the second one I think he lost his foot in and the ball bounced over him um, give us a mountain to climb and I must admit I couldn't see us doing it not the f um, first 15 minutes of second half I mean we carried on in the same vein I thought we were poor um, something had to be done uh, we gave ourselves a good half hour to do it got the two subs on and thought well you know it's <laughs> it might happen, it might not. You never know. Um, got the goal. Only one team is going to win it then. But having said that, Southport played very, very well today. Um, but 
I don't want to camouflage the fact that we made them look better than they were uh, because we're certainly not firing on all cylinders yet and we're playing in, in little patches and we need to be a lot more uh, consistent over the period of how we play and um, that's the bit that's disappointing me. We got through in the end today by passion, commitment, hard work, um, a great will to win all of a sudden and the confidence level obviously rose greatly when we got the equaliser and the South Fort head started to go a little bit um, but uh, we've got to do better um, but it's, it's, it's a good three points and I'm I suppose happy with six after three games. Good substituting move there, with bringing Akamara on and Basford. It seemed to fire up the team. Well, one thing we knew it would do would get us at them, uh, because both players, um, Eddie and Luke, love to go forward, and they're very exciting to watch. I mean, Luke's only four foot nothing, um, even smaller than Eddie, but um, they've got good feet, both of them, and uh, they will frighten defenders. Um, I mean, we were just hoping that uh, by going four at the back, that Southport didn't nick another one. If we thought we'd get at them and try and keep the ball, get the ball in their box, which we did, thankfully, and we would create a few problems for them. The passion certainly lifted the crowd because the, the crowd really got behind the team when they, they could see them, you know, the passion in the team. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got to lift the crowd. Sometimes it's difficult. People say, oh, there's no atmosphere. But it's down to the players that we have here to provide that atmosphere first and foremost. All of a sudden, when we got the equaliser, you could feel the whole place lift. Um, there was a great buzz around the ground, and they wanted more. They got more, and they got more after that, and they got more after that. And it was great stuff, um, but not enough. Let's do it for, you know, as near as 90 minutes as we can. In the end, we could have won this game 6 or 7 2. David Lee Worthy, five goals in two games. Brilliant start. Magnificent. Um, I must admit, I was probably the only person that put a question mark over David uh, at the end of last season. We've had lots of talks, and um, I said I'll go for another year. He was very keen to stay anyway, because um, I mean he is 36, and um, I just he's just found a new lease of life. And if he keeps going like this, I mean he'll be picking up the Golden Boot Award, I think. Kingstonian were quoted at 12 to 1 to win the league this year by certain bookmakers. Do you fancy their chances? No, not at the moment. I've got to be honest. Um, I'm an optimist. I mean, people might listen to that statement and say that I'm a pessimist, but we're not playing well enough yet. Uh, if we keep grinding out results like this, then I might change my mind. But um, we're just not, not the side. I want us to be a little bit more of a Rolls-Royce side. Um, our passing is letting us down at times. We've got too many players running with the ball. Um, one or two bad habits have crept back in. and. Um, there's only so much talking I'm prepared to do this season um, because that's three games now where there's been, for me, too many little things that I don't like that I'm seeing. Uh, as I say, the running with the ball, uh, the passing's letting us down, people not picking up players, not getting close enough. We've got to do a lot of work on the training ground. Um, if by January, and that's when I start taking notice of league tables, we're, we're in the top six, um, then we'll have a look and see and I might uh, think the odds are, are very bad odds. Have you got a sort of plan to, to get this consistency in the team? <sighs> no, I, I haven't got a plan. Um, my plan is the players. We're trying to get them on the training ground and do exactly... It's an easy game to play. It's only made difficult by the players that play it. We're going to be a pass inside, um, which means we've got to pass the ball, move, lots of communication, which we lack today. I mean, I was sitting there, I didn't hear any shouting from our lads, it was deathly quiet out there. Um, a lot of that is mental, a lot of it is to do with confidence, because when it went to all, everybody wanted the ball. But I see one or two of us didn't want it before that. Um, it's down to them. Um, I've bought them here, they're capable of doing the job, uh, but they're underselling at the moment. Does it, the team sort of lack an individual out there you, to, to actually be out there on the pitch and motivate?